Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog. My new doggy here. Oh, oh. My hair is looking crazy because I just woke up. But I want to kind of talk about like dogs and stuff, but that'll be later in the video. First off, I want to open um, my Fabletics package because I want to take those photos this morning. I am going to cycle bar this morning. I don't care if I have a dog or not because like I haven't been and I'm paying for it. And I kind of just like want to get some exercise. I have started clinicals as I've said previously in the other video, but guys, it is so exhausting like physically and mentally because you're dead standing for like, well, I mean, until whoever it comes to relieve you for break or lunch because there's like a patient on the table and you're helping the surgeon and learning from the preceptor and stuff. It's just so, it's just a lot. Um, but I'm gonna make it cycle bar even if my legs do feel sore. I have been wearing compression socks, but like, you know how it is, like it still hurts. Ooh, we rockin' the pink today. So I low key hope the dog doesn't poop because <laughs> I took her out again this morning. Valerie took her out and then I took her out and she just peed. Um, she peed like twice, so I'm like, okay, she's gonna need to poop someday. So we have this fun, ooh, this is so cute. I actually might wear this to cycle bar this morning because I love the style and the color is so summery, so fun. Oh, I gotta go take out the dog. All right, y'all, update, she pooped. <laughs> I know you guys were so concerned. Okay, so we already saw the bottoms, but this is the top. Look at how freaking cute this is. The back is so adorable. I'm probably gonna wear this today. I'm gonna put it on and take some pictures. Uh, I want my dog to be in the pictures, so hopefully she'll cooperate. So this is the outfit. It's so adorable. I hate having, well, I like my boobs, don't get me wrong, but like since they poke out, like it makes this a little loose. So I have to like pull and tuck, if you know what I mean. But I think it's adorable. It is pretty basic in the back, but I love the bra back. Looks like this. And yeah, so I'm gonna go take some photos with my doggy, with my dogger. Um, hopefully we'll get some good shots. Oh, I need to fix like this. That's kind of sloppy. But anyway, let's go create some content. I'm going to, um, actually go around our house into the alleyway. I think that'll be cute. Will you cooperate? Will you cooperate? Yes. She's not allowed on my bed because like, again, like I feel like I get rashes and stuff. So I typically don't let her in my room. I just shut the door, but yeah, I... She cannot go in my bed. And then dog fur would be everywhere. Not okay. I'm gonna go take the pictures now and hopefully we get something good. And now I'm headed to Cycle Bar. Finally, something normal in my routine. I'm actually thrilled just because I haven't gotten to go in a hot minute. And do my legs still hurt from like standing all the time? The past week, yes. But I'll probably like put like little to no gear on. Well, for the hills, I'll put gear on, but like, it's just one of those things that my calf muscles are just so sore and I am tired, but it's one of those things that's like, I go and have fun and like, just release all the stress and stuff. So I don't know. I kind of use cycle bar as a therapy as well. I don't know why I'm doing it because like my body is just like, uh, but I want to go. It's hard to explain, but anyway, I'm headed there and I will get some clips for you guys. And then I think I'm going to take Piper downtown because we need to get her like a retractable leash. She loves to run, but I can't like take her off the leash because she might get hit by a car, you know, like in our front yard area, like the park. So I can't take her off, but like I want her to go and be able to run around. So I'll get one of those like retractable leashes and then um, we might go to the dog park sometime today as well. So that's the game plan. Not only 47 movies about marriage, also marriage is.
okay so i ended up getting my mom a little tall coffee i have my since mother was so kind enough to buy this i got a venti i'm not really going to starbucks a lot anymore during the week uh, because it's just like kind of expensive and since I have a dog I need to like, cut costs so Starbucks was one to go um, so I'm just drinking all the coffee I've missed during this entire week I'm just gonna set this in between the legs and then this is oh I'm attached to the cord this is the bacon Gruyere sandwich for Sherry all right so Piper was destructive because I left for cycle bar mm-hmm but Sherry, we washed her hair. She cleaned up. Anything you want to say? No, thank you. Thank you to Alex for helping me get all all gussied up this morning. Doesn't look too gussy, but you know, it is the best we could do. Yes, update on the knee. Yeah, here's the knee. It's a lot less swollen though. It is. Yeah. It is. Poor mother. Oh, and I also did a Starbucks run, as you guys saw earlier. Yes, thank you for that also. <laughs> Starbucks and a Starbucks sandwich for a little snack and my Americano. It's been a while since you've seen this meal, but I'm having my salad with turkey. I swear, I eat this like almost every night for dinner because it's just like easy and fast. So, yeah. <laughs> and with peanuts, of course. We are now on our way to run those errands. She'll have some fun at the dog park as well. But first up is Wolfgang. Also too, today, I guess when I left her cycle bar, um, she cried and then like started getting into the trash. Poor thing has separation anxiety. I feel so bad, but like I said earlier, like I cannot live my life like around the dog. You know what I mean? Like I gotta do other things. So, yep. I think though next time I'll leave her with something to work on, like uh one of those Kong like things that you put like something in like a treat so she'll have to work on that or something like that she was a little naughty girl we're going to wolfgang we are here for this i'll probably end up getting the black one i don't know we'll see all right, so we ended up getting this uh, nice retractable leash, and so far so good. I mean, I just got the small one because she's kind of small, so. Okay, so we're on our way back from the park. Piper had a great time. Um, I don't really like to vlog a lot at the park because I feel comfortable vlogging the dogs, but there's a lot of like adults like that are older. They're not like my age, so I don't want to film them because I don't think they would want that. And they all like talk and they talk to me and everything, which is cool. Like they're all really nice, but like I don't want to have to explain like, hey, I vlog and stuff, so this is why I'm filming. It was, it's interesting too. It's like really nice that the owners like talk and stuff because like our dogs get along, but also too, like I low key want to just be on Instagram or TikTok, but because they're talking to me, obviously I don't want to be rude. So yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things that like, it's just the culture of it, I guess. So I actually talk to people, which is crazy, but everyone's nice and cool. Uh, no matter how old they are they're all like fine but still I don't know it's just kind of weird it's just a new thing for me um getting equipped to talking to kind of strangers uh in a sense but overall it's all good when I get home if my uncle's still around I'm not gonna like vlog in my room but the next part I kind of want to talk about like the pros and cons and like everything so far that I've learned and like answer the question like do I regret getting a dog because I think that would be a fun thing to talk about um but yeah all right we're almost home she is tired she's panting up a storm pardon the noise Sherry's over there watching her television um but tonight is well my parents are having it tomorrow night, but I'm having it tonight. The hot dog meal, so I'm just having these hot dogs and some green beans with some chip and dip. The dip is still in the refrigerator. I'm not gonna get it out until I'm like gonna eat it because I don't want it to get like warm because it's gross. 
But yeah, I just thought I would show you guys. It's been a while since I've had this little meal, but yeah. And it's one I could actually cook. Okay, so I wanted Piper to be in this clip, but she isn't because she's running around. It's like seven in the morning. But I wanted to talk about like the pros and cons of having a dog when you've like never had one. And I'm saying dog, I'm not saying puppy because I can't speak on like puppy experience because she's not a puppy. She's two years old. As you guys know, I've been wanting a dog for a while. Maybe you haven't known that, but I've been wanting a dog. And basically I came across her photo on Facebook. Someone wanted to rehome her. They lived in St. Cloud, which is super convenient because as you guys know, I live in Celebration. So it's only like a 45 minute drive with like traffic and stuff. So she was beautiful and I don't know, she just like, I looked at her and I was like, she's meant to be my dog. So I messaged her, we met Piper. Her previous name was Perla, but I changed her name because like now she's my dog. Like I feel like I have the right to do that. And um, like they were giving her away. So there she is, there's my girl. Anyway, I saw her, I knew she was meant to be mine. And then we met her. And then after that, we set a date. They wanted her to get spayed and everything. So basically we paid for that and then we picked her up. There was like some confusion on like when to get her, um, but it worked out in the end. And she's a really good dog. That's kind of like the story on how I got her. She was free. Was she from a breeder? Yes, but she was the mom of the litters. They didn't charge me for her and they were looking for a home for her. So honestly I did, I consider adopting instead of shopping. Okay, so I had to play with the dog for a little bit because she wanted to play. Anyway, let's get into the pros and cons of having a dog when you've never had one before. So let's start off with the pros. So the pros, she's gorgeous. I think if you get a dog that you're absolutely in love with, like the look of them, and she likes to sniff my crotch. If you like a dog and you like absolutely are just obsessed with the way they look, and they have a good personality, then it's a good thing. When you're out in public and you have a dog and people like wanna pet them, that's like the best feeling. Okay, I wanted her in this video, so I guess this is kinda good. She is hyper in the mornings, as you can see. Another positive is she was already trained, like she was already crate trained, potty trained. She was already trained, which is the biggest positive. So I didn't really have to do any of that. Another positive is uh, she can play well with other dogs. And so that means I can take her to parks and meet new people. Um, I did want to use a dog to like meet new people and like just make new friends and like just expand like, I don't know, my social circle a little bit. Even though at the dog park, there's more like older people, not really people my age. I'm sure that like in the future, like there will be dogs with owners about my age or a little older and stuff. But yeah, like it's a really good way to meet new people in your neighborhood, close by, just like network because you can have something to talk about. Um, that's definitely a positive. Another positive, in my opinion, is that she wasn't a puppy. Like I touched on before, she was already trained and stuff, so she didn't take like a lot of time to like train or teach because she's kind of does her own thing. It is good for when like you feel lonely because you have an animal and they just like love on you and stuff, so that's good. But also too, I like my alone time and sometimes I'm just like, okay, Piper, like go away. You know what I mean? So um, it just kind of depends, but it does help. You always have like a little companion by you and they're like always happy to see you, which is great. So I guess like psychologically, it's good for you in a sense. Another positive too, surprisingly, she doesn't bark too much. She barks at men most of the time or people like that come by her house, which is kind of normal because she's a dog. But other than that, she doesn't really bark a lot. Okay, if I think of any more positives, I will mention them, but let's get into the negatives and like things that you should be aware of um, before you get a dog. So the first negative is you will have to kind of like rearrange your schedule and like 
fit her in. So like in the mornings, she will obviously need to go to the bathroom. So you have to take out the dog and then she will pee. But like she poops on her own time and I really need to get better with this, like feeding her at a specific time so she poops at a specific time. But it just hasn't really worked out. So she like goes pee in the morning and then Valerie takes her out a second time and then she poops just I guess so she could work out in her system like get her bowel moving a little bit more but I just am so used to seeing owners like take their dogs out and they go pee and poop and then they can just bring them back in well this dog like she has to take forever and it's just like I don't have all the time in the world to be doing this you know that's like kind of a negative another negative too that I don't know because she came from a previous household like we set out food and she doesn't eat it all. I'm used to, or at least I see, like other people, they put out the food for the morning, like the breakfast, and then the dog will eat it all and then they'll take a few sips of water and they'll be good. And then at dinner time, they'll get their dinner, they'll eat it and then they'll drink some water and then go. She, like, we just have to keep adding, when we see the bottom of the bowl, like we just add like a scoop or two, um, or, like a little scoop in her bowl and then she has like a few bites and then like goes away. So like I'm over here like, hello, the entire bowl. So then you have dinner. I don't know why she does that, but it's fine. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention, like a positive knock on wood. This is fake wood, but knock on wood. She has not went to the bathroom in her crate because again, she's crate trained. I am so thankful for that because yeah, it'd just be like horrible if she went to the bathroom in there. She sheds a lot. And again, that goes with the breed, but like, I absolutely love this breed and I don't mind cleaning. But another con is that you'll have to clean a lot, um, like sweep and then run like the Swiffer thing. So she's an animal and obviously animals are going to be destructive. So she's done a few destructive things already but she's getting better at it because we got her even more toys. Yeah, she like chewed the foot of my mom's piano, which is so bad, but again, she's an animal, like things will happen. Another con would be like bathing. So I know this goes with like all dogs, but like it is so hard to bathe her um, myself. So that's why I'm just gonna take her to the groomers and have them do it because I can't be doing this. Like I think you saw in my, my first vlog, um, the previous people like put some something on her that smelled in my opinion like so bad Like I could not stand the smell. It's like probably like baby powder or something But I just couldn't stand the smell and that was just my personal opinion So I had to bathe her to get whatever that was out So it was just like super hard bathing her because she wouldn't stay still Also too because she needs to be groomed again. This is just the breed. So I don't know it could go for any dog but she needs to be like brushed every other day. Like today is a brushing day. It's so like, I thought she would be used to people brushing her because like she is this breed and they're like, oh yeah, like you have to brush her every other day. So I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking this dog is used to it. She would like be a good dog, you know? But no, like it's like going to war. It's like going to war with this dog to just brush her. So it's like kind of difficult, but I think I'm gonna try to give her a treat so she's like distracted on, on something. Overall though, like it's definitely a new experience that I think it does teach you a lot. She's a really good dog. I got very lucky. Another con would definitely be um, that I get hives, that I get hives when I'm around her, like when I pet her. So I have to take Allegra, which is not the most fun thing that I have to do, but like, I do love her and stuff, so I will just do what I need to do to not get hives when I'm around her. She's just being so hyper today. Another thing too is like, I know this breed is hyper, but like when I first met her, she wasn't as, no, she wasn't as hyper, but like she could be like really, really hyper and playful, which is good. But I thought I was like getting an older dog. So I thought she was gonna be a little bit more calm, but it's fine. I like my mom was saying basically to wrap up this video because I know it's like already kind of long. I like having a dog, but I don't like everything that comes with being a dog, like comes with a dog. Like having to feed her, having to take her out, having to like pay attention to make sure she doesn't like destroy stuff. Overall, it's like fun, but it's like 
it's just new. So anything new, you're just gonna have to get used to, which I've already kind of gotten used to it, but like, I wanna be able to like still go out with my friends. Another con, I know this is all over the place. Dogs are freaking expensive. Yeah, I don't know if I like spending this much money on an animal, but it's fine. Again, it's something new that I'll just have to get used to because it's a decision I made. Um, but yeah, like I had to cancel my hair appointment because yeah, I can't be spending that much money on hair when I have a dog and no like great income coming in. So if you watching this right here, thank you so much. You are the real MVP. You are so amazing for giving me this opportunity to like make a little income from this. So thank you so much. Basically going back to what my mom said, she's like, you like having a dog, but like you don't like everything that comes with the dog, which is true. Um, I don't like really picking up at shit. I don't like having to like get up. I can't like right now I would still be in bed if I didn't have a dog and that's just like flat out. Yeah. Um, my bank account would look a little bit better because I wouldn't have to pay for like all the stuff and all the accessories that come with the dog. Um, basically, yeah, I mean, my mom's pretty much right. Final question that I like, I'm gonna probably title this video, like, do I regret getting a dog? No, but I think like, this wasn't the best time to get a dog in all honesty. But like, when I saw her picture, like I kind of just knew that she was meant to be with me and that she's like such a good dog. I mean, if you're gonna get a dog, like it would definitely be Piper, especially for my position and like, what I'm going through right now and everything. Like, I mean, she's a great dog. She's great with kids. She's great with other dogs. She's great with strangers. Um, she will allow me to go places with her, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted a dog to take them places so I could meet new people and socialize and, you know, have an animal that I love. So I got the right dog, but it wasn't the right time, if you know what I mean. Just like my mom always says, apparently my grandpa would always say this, is that like, there's never a right time. There's never a right time to have a kid. There's never a right time to like get a dog. You just get thrown into it and you make it work, which that's what I'm doing. And I'm just learning that as I go. So to answer the question, it's kind of like an unanswered question, but yeah. Um, I know the videos have been like all over the place and not very consistent, but like I touched on, I think in a little bit earlier clip or whatever, like clinicals and having this dog at the same time, again, not the best time, but like clinicals are physically and mentally like pretty demanding because like you're learning all this stuff, like there's a patient on the table that's like under anesthesia and like getting cut open. So I don't know, it's just like a lot and I've just been so tired. Again, with the dog, like I have to get up earlier. So I get up at like four, four thirty, And like, I'm just like so tired. But again, it's a decision that I made. And like, I swear the second day I got the dog, I was like, why did I do this to myself? Like, what the hell am I doing? I kind of, I did at that, I, there was points that I did regret getting a dog. And I'm like, oh shit, you know, I don't want to do this, but it is what it is. And we're here now. And we're starting to get into a routine, so it's better. It's rough, no pun intended. Anyways, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.